In this video of hind foot and posterior ankle arthroscopy, this minimally invasive procedure is performed through two small portals or incisions which are approximately the size of an eyelash. The landmarks within this surgical area are first identified to maintain orientation including the joints, the ankle and subtalar joints themselves, and the flexor hallucis longus or FHL tendon. Because both the ankle and subtalar joints come together in the back of the ankle and foot within a space of less than half an inch, the back of both joints can be easily identified and treated as needed. In this patient with posterior impingement, there is abnormal contact or forces across the bones of the ankle and foot and the tendon which is immediately adjacent to it. The tendon is released with a shaver and with electrocautery to allow it to move normally with a smooth gliding motion. Then a sharp curved osteotome or bone cutting instrument is introduced to cut the talus bone. The fragment of extra bone is then removed. This extra bone can result from an abnormal extension of the talus bone itself, from a fracture, or from a piece of bone which never normally fused in development, called an os os trigonum. Finally, a burr or rotating device is used to fine tune or smooth out the, the rough edges of bone that remain. The big toe can be moved to assess whether the tendon attached to it, the FHL tendon, has been appropriately released or if anything else remains that may cause it to snap or catch.